Okay, so today um, you guys are going to be designing your own mask. And we've looked at masks from other cultures. We started with Africa and then we briefly talked about masks from other cultures. And you kind of want to make your own design now. And we'll compare it to those other parts of the world when we are finished. So what I've done is I'm going to make my mask on this sheet of paper and I have a stencil to help me get started. But really a lot of this is going to just come from my brain and when I use a stencil I don't want to take up this whole paper so I'm actually just going to use it way down here. I'm going to slide it as far to the edge as I can so I don't waste paper. And there's my shape and now I can just cut this out and then I can put the rest into scraps. This will be my mask. Your mask can be any color you want. Okay, once you have your mask cut out, um, you have to decide if you want to wear it or not. If you want to wear it, you're definitely going to have to make some eyes. So I have these little stencils. You really just need one. And you need to place it on the mask and trace around it. Now, do not put it really close to the edge. Okay? Because when you cut it out, you're going to cut out the edge. So you got to scooch it in from the edge. And then trace. That is very important. All right, and then we cut these out. So to cut out these little eyes, um, it's a little tricky. So what you have to do is you have to fold inside the eye and then pinch it with your scissors. Give it a cut. And then you get your scissors into that little cut and very gently get out to the line. And I like to do baby snips baby cuts until I feel I got a good grasp on it. And then do the same thing on the other eye. Fold, cut, and baby snips. So now I have this done. What I'm going to do, because I can still see some of the pencil here, I'm just going to flip it over and make this the front of my mask so I don't see any of that pencil. And right now I'll write my name on the back. And my code. Okay, so here is a good starting point. So here you want to design your face. Now you can use markers, crayons, you can collage it kind of like we did with the African mask, make it all out of paper, or you can use um, temper cakes, which are paints. So it's up to you. I think I'm just going to stick with markers for my design, maybe some construction paper crayons. And you want to make it a mask of your own. How will you design your mask? Do you want it to be the same on both sides? Do you want it to look kind of quirky and weird? Or do you want it to look really fancy? Okay, so you want to think how you would make a mask yourself, your own interpretation. So I'm going to get to work on mine and I'll let you know when I get further along. Here is my mask and now, um, so I'm done with all the marker and the sharpie and everything and now I'm going to just embellish it a little bit so that means just give it a little extra flair. Um, but I'm not going to go too nuts with this part. I am going to add a little bit of glitter glue, not too much, because again, we want it to, this to be our main focus. We don't want it to be too complicated with all the fancy other things, because then it just does, never looks as nice. So I'm just putting dots around the eyes. I'm going very slow. This is an option. You do not have to do this.
have your mask complete, then you want to start thinking about, well, what else can I add to it? Do I want to add anything on the outside of the mask? Perhaps I want to add hair. Perhaps I want to do something interesting on top. I'm not sure. Um, but you decide. So I'm going to show you some paper folding techniques that you could use. So you could do the zigzag sort of look. So you just fold your paper down, fold it on the back side, fold it on the front, fold down, fold, fold, fold. And you open that up, you get it like a zigzag. You could glue paper into circles and glue those. You can curl paper. So you open your scissors and hold it with your thumb down here. Hold your thumb on the paper. Open the scissors and pull it. And hopefully it doesn't break. And that curls paper for you. So all kinds of different things you can do with paper. Um, again, your chance to explore and play. Things around the head portion, I would put some glue on your strip. And I would glue it on the back of the mask. So I put a little glue here. And then put it underneath the mask. And so from here... Okay, so once I have that on, now I think I do want to add some feathers. Again, I'm not going too crazy. And you have to come to me for this part because it does have to be hot glued. So I decided I want my hair to be asymmetrical so it's not the same on both sides. So I'm only putting feathers on the side with the longer hair. So it's kind of shorter and gets more poofier as it comes over to this way. And so here is my mask. And if you want to be able to wear it, you are going to have to punch holes onto the side of it. So for that, you would take a hole punch. You come in a little under the eye, go into the cheek a little bit. Just really close to the eye, but not too close. Pinch. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. Right about in the same spot. Now that the holes have been punched, you're going to take two pieces of yarn, and they should be the same length. And one piece will go on this side of your mask, one piece will go on this side of your mask. You need two separate pieces, do not just use one. And what you're going to do, you're going to go underneath and you're going to pull the yarn through and then you want to tie it kind of like you're starting to tie your shoe. So just wrap it, tie, and do it again. Okay? And then I want you to trim off this extra. And do the same thing on this side. This is only if you are wanting a mask that you can wear. If you don't want to wear it, then don't worry about this step. Alright, and the purpose of the two strings is so a person with any size of a face can wear it. Um, some of us have really tiny heads, some of us have bigger heads, so you can just wrap these around your head, tie it in the back, and there you have a mask. So this is my finished mask um, that I designed on my own, my choice, on where I wanted to put things, how I want it to be done.